And guys, this is the last video for the Technical Booster 2. Uh, we have Great Nature, one of the most, uh, I guess you would say, anticipated decks of the set. Uh, Great Nature is already a pretty good deck right now. Tier 1.5 in my opinion. Almost Tier 1. Uh, we'll see like what support they get in this set to see how they get better. Because you can't really get worse with new cards. Yeah, unless there, unless there are other other decks new cards. Yeah, then yeah, this is true. First card, yeah, you have a Fank, which is the Kagero Killer. Kind of, not really. Kind of, it's yeah. just it's. You just... give all your rearguards the effect where they cannot be retired. Yep. And uh, that, it that gets bigger. In the turn, but yeah. So you yeah. can't G-Guard it, basically. Yep, no yep. Denial Griffin, no... Defeat Player. No player, player. So Sorry. if you don't like Kagero, then this is the card for you. Yep. That's pretty much all it stops, I think. It's pretty good. Should be. Next card. Big Valley Stride. Oh, it gives it, like, units plus four, right? No, yeah, it gives it, it itself gives plus itself four. Plus four. Uh, for, for each, each unit, unit targeted. targeted. Okay. Big Valley Stride. Why don't you tell us what it does? <laughs> so, because cause Ryan here cannot read, what it does is, uh, kind of plus one, so you flip words. down a copy of itself, and you choose one of your rear guards, and it gets power plus 4,000 for each face-up card in your G-Zone, and then you choose uh, any of your units, choose one of your units until end of turn it gets, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, you choose up to the same number of your other rear guards as the number of face-up cards in your G-Zone, and then stand them. So, it's a pretty broken effect, because you can just... Give one of your rear guards super large on hit pressure, and with Crayon Tiger you can stand it. So if they don't guard it like twice, then you can just like stand a bunch of rear guards, basically. Yep, it's pretty good. And they get very, very big. Very good effect. Next Arusha. Arusha. It restands, but you can't put triggers on it. It sucks. Uh, yeah, it has to become successful to twenty-five k successfully. That's not that big of a deal. Like yeah. it's not. It's pretty easy to do that. It's yeah. just that the fact that you can always want to pass this card is pretty awkward. Uh, also, when this unit attacks, you choose one of the rear guards gets plus four, and yeah. And the vanguard cannot be chosen by trigger effects. Yep. Yep. Next card, G Guardian, or Dio. Head of the Bastion. Ardillo. Ardillo. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Spanish, so, the, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this one is, um, when this unit is placed on the guarding circle, choose any of your rear guards and retire them. And if the number of open rear guards is three or more, this unit gets plus 10k shield until the end of battle. So, I, this isn't, like, the best G-Guardian. It's kind of, like, just something where if you need it, then you can use it, but it's not, like, very good. It's, uh... It's, like... Situ very situational. Screw. Yeah. You probably still just play it. It's, yeah, I suppose it is like okay. some a decent amount of time. It's like slightly better screw. Yep. Pretty much. Next card. Hamski's rival fountain pen Hamkichi. Uh, Hamski's aren't very good. So Ryan, what does it do? What does this card do? Uh, once per turn, Soul Blast 1, you choose a card with Hamske and its card name from your drop zone, put it on the bottom of your deck, choose up to two of your rear guards with Hamske and its card name, and they get power plus 4,000 until end of turn, and at the end of that turn, retire those units. And then, act on Vanguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, this unit gets power plus 4,000 for every two of your rear guards with Hamske and its card name until end of turn. Like, it's not even very good for, like, a grade 3. Like, I think the only point of the Hamske deck, basically, is if you want to aggro your opponent out on, like, all the way through. Or if you want to just play Hamskes, but yes. Or if you just want to play Hamskes, but, like, I don't think it's a very strong good deck. effect. They look cool, though. I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but the, the deck kind of blows, so... I like the um, names. It's very creative. Yeah. Uh, so you have Tie Ruler Cat? Try Ruler Cat. Try Ruler Cat. Oh, Try? Oh, sorry. Um... Reading is hard. Um, so this effect, it's a, uh, the main one that we care about is GB1 auto, counter blast one, when this card is put to the drop zone, during your end phase, uh, you can pay the cost, which is counter blast one, and then search for this card from your deck, and then, 
Pretty what? Handy. Screw that! I like the first effect. Perfect guard. Oh, yeah. I like being able to not get hit. <laughs> so I think about? the effect is, or I think the card is pretty good, but I think you still probably want to run the unflippers. So I agree, but it's not bad. But if it's you a can't pretty good card them. though. So I don't, I don't mind it. You know, if it didn't say during your end phase, you could like G guard with this and then grab a PG. It says from rear guard, right? Yeah, I know, but you search one is what I'm saying. So if it didn't say during your end phase, you could search a PG on your opponent's turn, which is pretty cool. Oh, you mean you, mean you, if you, you, you retire it with the yeah, 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 that would. I I, I kind of wish cool. they did that. That would actually be pretty cool. But yeah, that'd be way cooler. They didn't. Next card. I mean, it's effectively the same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Application. You just get a free booster. Right? Application research your pawn belly. Uh, it's the big belly crit. You know, I still charge it. Yep. Draw a card. Yeah. So big it's big belly plus five thousand. Not attacks. much to say about that. You run it. No, it's whatever. Shiny. Yeah, it is. It will be. It is foiled. Yep. yep. Oh, this technical booster doesn't have any of the secret packs, right? It's just normal, like. Yeah, stuff. it's just GRs and SPs and oh, okay. regular triples. So this is Sylvest. Not to be confused with this Sylvest. This one isn't playable anymore. You know, because it's written on the card. This was this was so broken, right? You know, Novell still playable and yeah. this is before Novell, but yes. Yeah, but like, still yet, like nobody played it when it was a thing. Mm-hmm. It was Bushiroad's test card. Let Sylvest off and the bat with. Has... Oh, does All right, so well, let's go to that, the actual card. Yeah. So, it has success 25, uh, 25,000. If you have three or more rear guards, this unit gets power plus ten thousand and. When this unit becomes successful, draw a card. So, this is ma- mainly what it does is you stride and then you draw a card. This is actually literally the other Sylvest. If Sylvest had a uh, draw a card, basically. Yep. So if you want to stride, that draws one card, for I guess pretty much for free. Mm-hmm. It's fine. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Yep. You probably don't run it. You probably you don't, don't have space. You probably don't have space, either. honestly, but it's okay. Yeah. Next card. Stapler Penguin. Ryan's favorite card of the set. No joke, it might be. Uh, it's it's pretty bad, but it's really cool. Uh, so success twenty five thousand GB one counterblast one when this unit becomes success. Oh, this is a Vanguard effect, by the way. Counterblast one when this unit becomes successful, you can pay the cost. If you do choose one of your rear guards, it gets critical plus one until end of turn, and at the end of that turn, retire that unit. You know. Because it's a Vanguard effect, it really sucks. Uh, if it was a Rearguard effect, it would probably be broken, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, you could just, you know, GB1 off your first stride. You could, you know, give something a crit. And then Crayon mm-hmm. Tiger, restand it, and it swings a crit again. With Monogarmor if you, on the second stride. And they're yeah. generally big, so. It's, it's, it would be good if it's a Rearguard, but it's not. And then the second effect is the standard Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. When it's placed on Vanguard Circle, search for the... For the Success. keyword. Yep. It's really cool to look. It's a penguin holding a stapler. I like it. <laughs> Next, we have Hamske's rival, Oil Pen, Ham Judo. Uh, so this card, Vanguard Rearguard Circle, at the end of your turn, if you have Vanguard with Hamske in his card name, choose one of your other uh, rearguards with Hamske in his card name, and you may retire it. If you do, kind of charge one. Might be like the best Hamske card in so, the set. Pretty much, it's just if you're doing your Hamske stuff, then it's an unflipper. Yep, that's pretty much what it does. It's a green two unflipper, and it's a nine K, which is pretty helpful when. That already makes it better than two of the Hamske. Yeah. Yep. It also works on your Vanguard circle. So yep. Yeah. Next card. Problem child, gray belly. So success twenty thousand. Uh, and then auto rear guard once per turn, GB1. So last one, when this unit is successful and attacks the Vanguard, if you have Vanguard with Big Belly in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to two of your other rear guards. And until the end turn, they get power plus 4,000. And at the end turn, draw a card and retire those units. So this card is like pretty busted, to be honest. I, I like it. Because uh, it's like you draw two cards off it and give two units 4,000, which is like pretty insane. He will not be diligent and well mannered. That's a card flavor. It's only once per turn, so you can't like sc- swing with it twice with Crayon Tiger. But still, it's like very good. Yep. Look at him. He's so edgy. 
No mom and dad. Nope. I won't He's a Gibson. Listen. So this is like obviously like I think there's like an easy four no, of in. Well, I mean, oh yeah, just, like in the big belly deck, it's like easy four of, and you could arguably run in other decks just because the effect is like that good. If you want the bi- if you're running the big belly stride, you should be running the big belly stride. Yep. So <laughs> very very good card. Yeah, it's considerable in every great nature deck probably with the big belly stride of course. Yep. Uh, next card. Coiling Duckbill. This is a reprint. Here's your broken grade one from an old set. Yep. Yep. Reprint. Getting reprinted. Looks nicer, I think. Yeah. yeah. He looks so happy. Yeah. Look at him. He's smiling. He's like, I give you one card at the end of the turn. <laughs> kill me off. I'll give you a card. No, it gives kill something else off, not me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Scholarship student, Alley Belly. He's a painter. Mm-hmm. Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> okay sure uh, so if you have a vanguard with big belly in its card name this unit cannot be retired due to the effect from cards that doesn't mean you cannot target it for effects that do retire it but if it was like if it, a card says retire a unit at the end of the turn you select this you can still select it it just won't die yep. it's like and a you can still C stamp on it right yeah and you can still yep. get the draw effects off too 7k C stamp uh C stamp otter for that has another effect. Yep, well. and then also on rearguard circle GB one soul blast one. And this unit boosts a rearguard with the success ability. You may pay the cost if you do. The boosted unit gets power plus four thousand until end of that battle. So and at the end of that turn, retire that unit. It's the good. second effect is not restricted to big belly if you wanted a like eleven k booster of some kind. Yep, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. Uh, I don't know if there's grade one space really for it. Yeah. You can probably run it in big belly, but for other decks, there's probably it's probably not good enough by itself. Yeah, it's still a good card though. Yep. Little belly. Little belly. Yeah, I, was, I didn't want to read the first part of this <laughs> thing either. <laughs> Scintillating first year student. Yep. Good job. Whatever. Um. So it's a four runner. Uh. Five K grade zero. It has success, 20k, uh, and then auto rearguard circle, GB1. At the end of your turn, if this unit is successful, you may retire this unit. If you do, counter charge one. And then another axe skill, rest this unit. Choose one of your other rearguards, and it gets power plus 2,000 at the end of the turn. Uh, so, yeah. It's, like, okay, but you probably want to run a different starter, but it's yeah. worth consi- it might be worth considering, though, if, if you, you really if you want the counter blast, then, like, yeah. Yep. Next card, Ink Panda. It's a panda with ink, and I'm guessing that's an eraser. So, success, 20,000. Uh, and then when it becomes successful and attacks Vanguard, draw a card, and at the end of the turn, retire this unit. It's a very simple effect, but it's actually a pretty good effect, honestly. Yeah. Turn your Crayon grade. Tiger you can draw too, right? It's basically like a one-card Crayon Tiger, <clears throat> or, yeah. or for itself, which is not bad. So you could consider running it, and it's pretty good. And you, you turn your grade 3 into any other card in your deck. Yep. Times 2, maybe, if you crown tiger. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's a once per turn. Or, yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, but still, it's like, okay. Yeah, it turns into any other card. Yep. It's like Upstart Goblin. Sorry, we're going to have to limit this to one. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Anchor Rabbit. This is an interesting card. Uh, so, success, 20,000. Uh, GB1, counterblast 1, when this unit becomes successful, you may pay the cost if you do stand this unit, and at the end of that turn retire this unit. And then it also has the effect GB1, counterblast 1 then this or this unit gets boost until end of turn. So the last effect is mostly irrelevant, but the second effect is pretty strong. You can it make, Your turns can be kind of awkward because you have to time it so that it hits success after you attack with it, so you can't like put all your buffs on it before it swings. But it's a pretty good card, I think, and I would like probably consider running it. Also works off of your triggers. Like if you hit triggers and you put yep. it on it, if you put triggers on it, it can stand it too. Yep. It's like every trigger in your deck is a stand trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for kind of less one. Of course, you need to buff it twice for a trigger to make it stand. Yeah. But for it's worth considering. A little bit more, but yes. And like some amount in your deck at least next card it's it's grill hamscare hammy yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a mechanical so grade 2 8k yeah 
Choose a normal unit with Hamski and its card name from the drop zone, put it on the bottom of your deck. When it attacks a vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your other rear guards with Hamske and that unit and this unit get power plus four thousand and at the end of the turn retire the unit chosen with this effect. So it's an eight. It's a like it's the like fact 12, that you have to put a normal unit with Hamske in from the drop zone to the bottom of the deck to do it, then makes it like not as good early game pretty much. So you're probably gonna be doing this like I would say turn three earliest. Yeah. Which is a bit slow. Kind of makes it hard to aggro. And the fact it. that it's an 8k is kind of bad, but... Yeah. It's a Hams case, if you want to play Hams K. Next card. Hams K's rival... Crayon... Hamzo. 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 It's Hanzo, but Hams K. Yeah. What's the line, Ryan? What's the line? Uh, for those of you who play Overwatch are very familiar with the character Hanzo. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, this has an auto scale counter blast one. During your end phase, when this unit is put into the drop zone from your rear guard circle, you may pay the cost if you do the top four. Uh, from the top deck, search up to one Hamske and then put it into your hand. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's a pretty good card in the Hamske deck, but it's in the Hamske general, deck not so is much. not amazing. Yeah. But yeah. if you want to play Hamskes, then you run this card. It's a 7k. Yep, if you if you run Hamscades, then you definitely play this card. Next card. Uh, Chalk Eraser Fennec, which I just learned today is an actual animal. I didn't, I didn't know Fennec was a thing. It's apparently some type of fox. Uh, this card's a 6k. What does it do, Fennec Master? Uh, <laughs> Fennec Master you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so success, 20,000. Uh, continuous regard circle if this unit is successful this unit gets soul blast one during your end phase when this unit is put into the drop zone from regard circle you can pay the cost if you do draw a card so i don't think you want How a you get this 6k to... grade one in your deck and also you don't generally want to buff your grade ones to have yeah, them retired. How do you get this to a 20,000? Nice. No, it doesn't. You have need you another rear guard to become 20,000. To 20, oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, it's when your other rear guard becomes 20,000 or greater. Oh, it says when your rear guard. Uh, your rear guard, so it's... Or, yeah, when you're, when you're good, sorry. So, um, like, you're not really going to retire this card, though, because you don't really want to be retiring your grade ones, and you don't really want to be running 6k grade ones in your deck, I would say. And you already have enough draw power, so I probably wouldn't run this card. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, yeah. Next card. Draft Unicorn. It's a crit. So if you're drafting, here, take it. I mean, you, ha you, you have, have to, to you have to take it, it but. It, it's in the name. But, uh, yeah. It's in the name. Take it. You want crits, trust me. Yep. I like, I like what it looks like, but, uh, the bunny is also pretty nice. I like the bunny. I like the but bunny more. I think this thing is still pretty nice. Yeah. Any thoughts? Nope. None. Castanet Donkey. The art looks really nice. So it's a reprint of Margo the clone. Margo Draw clone. Trigger. Yep. So great you don't pro you probably don't want draw triggers in your great nature deck, so it doesn't really matter. Next card, Watering Elephant. So it has success to th twenty thousand. Uh. And then auto rear guard circle GB1. Put this unit into your soul. During your end phase when your other unit is put into the drop zone. If this unit is successful, you can pay the cost if you do call that unit to open your guard circle. So if you want to run stand triggers, this is pretty good. It's if probably... you don't want to run stand triggers, then you don't need it. But mm -hmm. it's like it's worth considering if you are running stand triggers. So or, I mean, you obviously just run it. This is probably like the stand that you would run if you were to I mean, run stand it's triggers. Like, it has an effect, so you do run it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, stand triggers are not... That terrible, but you probably just want crits though. Yep. Alright guys, uh so yeah, that was that was great nature. Uh I think great nature might make a push to tier one with this, honestly. The big belly stride is very, very strong. Yeah. Uh the hardest part that great nature has is matchup wise. Uh, uh the the Kagura matchup is doable and the new stride helps a lot. Uh Link I Joker, think though. the Link Joker matchup is still terrible. Yeah. And the Angel Feather matchup got a lot better with the Reckless Yeah, it's hit. much more difficult for you to get, like, you can't get infinite anymore for, like, all your cards in hand, so. They can't just, they can't just, you know, push through your hand. It's pretty great. 
so yeah, it's much less difficult. And so mainly your big problem is Link Joker. We'll also be our group will also be picking up a Great Nature deck, so we should have content of that for you guys. Probably some games, a deck profile, you know, etc. Um so I'm I'm looking forward to the set. I think it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, uh what are the things you guys are like the most interest or the looking forward to the most? Um, how it affects the meta, I guess. I, I think the great nature, like Big Billy Stride, is the biggest thing, honestly. Yeah. I'm actually most interested in how Murakuma will do with I the new support. They will not do that good, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying like they're gonna be tier one or anything, but yeah, like, they might like they might be like pretty good. It'll be interesting to see how Bushiroad can like revive dead clans, honestly. So cough, cough, know. OTT. Yeah, you know, great nature, pretty. The hate. better, the better OTT. And then you have Genesis, the, the better other better OTT. OTT. <laughs> Poor OTT. Help, man. help OTT. Can I get a Bible thump in the comments below for OTT? All right, enough of, of OTT, though. Yeah. Let us know what you want to see the most of this set and what you're anticipating will affect the meta, and yep. Um, also, be looking forward to a sneak peek opening with commentary over the choices that we take, and then later on after that, be looking forward to uh, a box opening or something. Probably. Yep. Should be. Except this video may be uh, uploaded after the Yeah, sneak if peek. not, then you better go and watch the sneak peek video that was uploaded last week. And last week? How do you know it's how do you know it's exactly when we We never know. What timeline is this? This could be like the darkest timeline. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. So leave a comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And then as always Facebook link and Twitter link are in the description and check out ideal 808 because we get their product we get our product from them yeah and we play in their store and do tournaments from them so yeah like talking to their employees and stuff they're really nice people all yeah. right all right see you see you next time